the HydroSynth now provides a full MIDI CC implementation, which transmit and receive standard 7-bit MIDI CC messages. This allows for automation on DWs, which do not support MIDI and RPN standard, as well as remote controlling the HydroSynth with other CC-enabled external devices. The MIDI CC chart can be found in the latest owner manual and the 1.5 addendum manual. To work with DAWs, connect your HydroSynth to the computer with USB or MIDI DIN cables bidirectionally. Then turn local off in the HydroSynth to avoid doubling the messages. Enable MIDI CC transmit and receive. Head to page 6 of the system setup menu and set param TX and RX to CC. If you work with Ableton Live, open up the Link MIDI tab in Preferences. Make sure you have Track turned on for both HydroSynth's input and output. This opens up the communication of both notes and CC messages. To track and modulate HydroSynth, select HydroSynth as the MIDI track's input, and make sure the output runs back into the HydroSynth. Load the external instrument device into the track and select HydroSynth as the receiver. Then select the audio input channels that receive audio from the HydroSynth. Now the HydroSynth is integrated into the live set. You can start tracking and editing the recorded notes and modulations. Let's record a chord progression. Now there's no modulation at all. Let's record a macro knob movement. After recording, I can view and modify the recorded modulation in the MIDI Clips Envelope Editor. Open up MIDI Control and the recorded CC parameter. Modify it to taste. When it's done, dub the MIDI clip to audio by freezing and flattening the track. This action is not reversible. However, you can always back up the MIDI track before converting. If you work with Logic Pro, create a new track with external MIDI. Check Use External Instrument plugin. Select HydroSynth as the MIDI destination. Then select the audio input channels that receive audio from the HydroSynth. I can now record a bass line to the MIDI track.
Now there's no modulation at all. Let's record the macro knob movement. After recording, I can view and modify the recorded modulation by opening up the piano roll and pressing the Show Automation button. You can press the Automation Cycle Through button to check out the recorded CC parameters automation. Modify it to taste. When it's done, create a stereo audio track with the audio input channels that receive audio from the hydrosynth. Turn on Record Enable button. Mute the track and record the audio from hydrosynth. For all DAWs, you need to track the sounds one by one. Make sure to deactivate the unused tracks to avoid conflicts. Besides the new MIDI CC mode, in order to make the ribbon controller more friendly for other devices, the ribbon can now be set to send NRPN or pitch band data as well. The ribbon pitch band transmit toggle is located in page 5 of the system menu. The ribbon transmits pitch band data when it is set to on, and transmits NRPN data when it is set to off. <laughs> 